Hi, I'm John McGuire, founder and director of the Kinesiology Institute. Thank you for tuning into this video. And be sure to subscribe to our channel and click the bell to be notified when we post new content. And go to kinesiologyinstitute.com to learn more about applied kinesiology. a little demonstration of, of a remote technique. We're going to have a cat come up and she's actually going to be not physically with me but she's going to be on camera so you'll be able to see her and she'll be in another space. So uh, Kat how are you doing today? I'm doing well. Great. Okay so we're going to have uh, me demonstrate how to find an area that's of um, particularly importance to have you clear some deep-seated stress, particularly from your childhood. You willing to do that? Yes. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do a little leg test here. So I'm gonna say, body, give me a yes, body, give me a no, okay? Now I'm gonna say, my body is willing and able to tune in and be a surrogate for cat. Yes, acting as a surrogate. Okay, now I am basically tapping into your energy field and I'm gonna ask an age where we need to clear something. So I, I like to go in blocks. So I'm gonna say birth to five years old, okay? Six years old to 10, okay? So when it goes weak, that's where the stressor is. So I say age six, age seven, age eight, age seven. So something happened, uh, Kat, perhaps at age seven. Does anything pop up when I ask that? Yes. You have something that's, that you're aware of? Okay. Yeah. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to have you bring your feet together. We're going to have you put it in circuit. And I want you to think of that incident. And then when I say uh, um, separate your feet, then you're going to step out 18 inches. So then you don't have to think about it anymore, and we're going to test from there, OK? So thinking about that incident. And first, before we go to the incident, on a scale of one to 10, when you really get in touch with the feeling about that, go back as a seven-year-old and just for a moment, think about how you feel on a scale of one to 10, 10 being just the worst it could be, and then one is like, doesn't bother me at all, what would you say it is? The nine to 10. So it's really up there. Yeah. Okay, well, just for a moment now, be in touch with that nine or 10, and I'm gonna test now as uh, you think about that, and got it? Okay, and now separate your feet 18 inches apart. Okay, and now she, uh, don't, you don't have to think about it anymore, okay? So I'm gonna tap into her energy again and see, yep, she is switched off. Now there's other ways, we're gonna show you three different ways to self-test in the course, but I prefer, especially if I'm sitting, to do the leg test. It's the easiest for me. Um, but there are things we're gonna show you how to use hand test and of course the sway test, you might have seen that, but the hand test will probably be new to you because it's using one hand and fingers. We'll show you again in the course. So now, we're, we're now going to look, and I've got a weak muscle here. <clears throat> so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna think or say out loud different techniques, and the one that will be the technique for us to at least start with to clear this will go strong, okay? So I'm gonna say simple emotional stress release, Okay, that didn't, that didn't go strong. Okay, so I'm gonna say um, tapping, acupressure tapping, that didn't go strong, okay? So I can say six human needs, that didn't go strong. Okay, uh, video technique, video technique goes strong. So I'm looking, just like I was testing her, you know, like finding a weak muscle and then checking different techniques, it would be the same way, only it's remote. We're, we're not, you know, touching. Now, I'm going to um, have you, you can separate the, uh, bring the feet back together now. At this point, that was just for the testing. And that way she didn't have to keep thinking of the incident. It gives them a little break. We do that and we also show the victim victimization technique in the course, as well as, as several other techniques that we have that we work with. Now, um, what I'd like you to do is think of an ideal place. And it could be in your imagination or perhaps a place you go to. I want you to think and picture a place where you just feel so relaxed and calm. Do you have a place in mind? Uh, yes, I do. Okay. So do you want to describe that for me? Probably a secluded beach. Okay. So think of being there right now. And I'm going to have you close your eyes and breathe slowly and deeply and just feel like you are on that beach. And I'd like you to touch your frontal 
uh, eminences, you know those positive points you've learned before, right? Three fingers width above your eyebrows, and you're gonna touch very lightly and slightly tug up on the skin. So you're just as light as you can touch on there. So as you breathe slowly and deeply, touching these points, I want you to see yourself on that beach. And as you see yourself on that beach, relaxed, feeling your jaw relax, your forehead relax. Again, breathing slowly and deeply, feeling your shoulders relax. And for you that are watching and tuned in, you can actually do this on yourself for perhaps an incident you have. Now I'd like you to imagine, Kat, a screen up in front of you where you're lying there on the beach. It might be off in the distance a little bit. And on that screen, you're going to be watching a movie from this deeply relaxed place. I want you to see that scene like it's playing on a movie. And if it's too intense, you could even make that movie black and white or turn the volume down on it. But again, as you touch these points lightly on the forehead and just observe what's on the screen, Breathing slowly and deeply, let me know when you get to the end of the situation that you were finding stressful. Just going from beginning to end. And she doesn't need to tell me what the event is, but if she wanted to, she could. But for now, we'll just let her, get, it's just as effective for just her focusing on that. So just let me know then as long as it takes till you get to the end. Just again watching uh, the movie from a relaxed place. Going to reach the end. Okay. okay. Now we're going to be rewinding the movie kind of like it's a DVD actually. It used to be videotape but now we're going to actual bring back the DVD but this time we put it on fast forward. So again touching the forehead lightly and breathing slowly and deeply. I'd like you to now watch the movie, but in rapid form. You can't even hear the, the sounds. <laughs> okay? And then let me know when you get to the end of the movie this time, watching it from your relaxed place on your ideal beach. Okay. Okay. Now this time, we're going to have you watch the movie again, but it's been all jumbled up. So there's things at the end that are at the beginning. It might be going backwards. It might be going upside down and fragmented and things at the beginning or at the end. It's just all jumbled up. So again, breathing slowly and deeply, touching those points lightly. You're now going to flow uh, through that movie and just let me know when you get to that jumbled up movie at the end. Okay. All right. Now this time, this is an option I'll ask you if you want to do this, is you can think of a cartoon character as you and another, was there another person involved in this? Yes. Okay. Um, that person becomes a cartoon character. Got any cartoon characters you'd like to put in those roles? Um. Okay. You know, like a... Um, Maybe Elmer Fudd if it's a male, or <laughs> if you know that, and, and uh, you may be olive oil. I don't know, or, or uh, um, any any character you want. You can make it up. So, and if you need to, you can relax, relax your arms down if they're getting a little tired and shake them out a bit. Okay, and then when you want, you can bring them back up, and then now you're going to focus on the movie again. This time. You're watching on that movie from your relaxed beach, you're watching a cartoon, and you might have cartoon music. And it may be kind of comical this time. And so just make up the new movie with the cartoon characters, and then let me know when you get to the end.
Okay. All right, good. Now this time we're going to have you, you can take your arms down for a moment and relax them. We're going to have you see this old movie that was uh, in the DVD player, and you're going to take that movie out. And this time you're going to see that DVD just melt and be destroyed, like vaporized. So it's totally gone from your field. In fact, you can even send it out into space if you like, and it's just separate from you. It's just gone. Let me know when you feel that's out of your field and no longer present. Do you have a sense that that's gone from you now? It's a slowly processing, but okay. yeah. Okay, go, take your there. time. Yeah. Whatever time it takes, just let it just dissolve. And then we're going to put a new movie in, create a new movie. Okay. Great. Now again, you can touch those forehead points again. And this time, I'm going to have you create a new movie. You're going to create a new story. You might be Wonder Woman in this movie. You might be, you know, whatever character you want. Could even be, a, you know, yourself feeling fully empowered and positive. And how would you like to hold this movie and this new story you're creating? Like possibly with strength, with courage, with acceptance, with love and compassion. You tell me what emotions you'd like to create in this new feeling of this new movie. Hmm. Um, definitely some more strength. Okay. So see yourself totally strong and powerful. Breathe that power and strength in. Any other qualities you'd like to have? Courage. There's definitely more courage there, too. Okay, great. Breathe that courage in. Feel courage and strength in your being. And now you can either create a new movie that you see has the outcome you want to have, or it could even be the way it went, but now you feel totally free from any negativity. And now create a new movie. And this one could be more vivid, like you're really in the movie, feeling the strength, feeling the courage, feeling the power. Breathe those feelings in and seeing you now rising above any stress, feeling strong, feeling you've gained maybe some lessons, some positive aspects to this. And see the movie going from even when it happened as seven years old, and you're carrying this strength and courage throughout your childhood. Even through your adolescent years. And let me know when you get to the, the end of the movie at that time, and then we'll future pace you into now. Okay. Okay, now seeing yourself again from seven going up to eight, nine, ten, with this new strength, this new courage, feeling empowered, feeling strong, feeling courageous, going through your teenage years, feeling any doubts just fading away, any lack of courage, lack of strength, and now you're feeling strong through your early 20s carrying this through your life into your mid-twenties and present time. And then take a deep breath. And then when you're ready, you can bring yourself back to present time and open your eyes. And we'll see where we are now. Okay, and when you're ready.
ready, you can drop your hands and see how you're feeling now. And let's just see how that incident, if it needs any more work or if it's cleared. So I want you to, again, think about the situation that happened at age seven. And as you're thinking about that, I'll test and see, okay, it's now strong. So when you reflect on it, you were a nine or a 10 earlier. So take a deep breath and just get in touch with your gut and focus on the feeling you have now related to that. And has it shifted? And what number would you give it now? I would give it about a two or a three. Oh, wow. Yeah. Great. Can you talk a little about um, your I did experience? Start feeling a little bit more emotional just as I was trying to release. Um, what was going on um, inside it was, I felt like I was tearing up or grieving with my past self and telling her that it's okay now that we moved on from that. Great. Good. Well, that's actually good when you emote because it's releasing energy blockages. And I've done a lot of this work for myself where I would cry and cry and cry. And tears are like rain that clears the soul. So being aware, if you're doing this, particularly when you're touching the frontal eminences, if you're touching the frontal eminences and then you're allowing yourself to emote, it's shifting the emotions to get them out. In fact, there's cortisol and stress hormones in tears so that when you're crying, it actually allows um, stress to physically exit your body. So getting a little emotional or a lot emotional is totally fine. And when you're working with clients, you can let them know, hey, if you start to feel emotions, let them flow. It's the key again in this technique is you're noticing what's present rather than reacting to it. You know, being aware like, like you're lying on the beach, noticing it. And by just witnessing whatever's there, allowing it to come up and flow, especially when we're doing these techniques, which again, we show you more in the course of how you can reframe and re, it's creating a new neural association and new energetic pattern. So when you focus on it again, it doesn't bring up the same emotional reaction. And part of that is when you're touching the frontal eminences, it takes it from the occiput in the back of your brain to the prefrontal cortex, which is the new association area that allows you to then be free of those past stressors.